Welcome to this Cobalt Touch feature presentation. In this presentation I'd like to tell you more about controller sharing and how this solves a certain a very common problem. The common problem is um, that many developers are facing, especially in Cocos 2D and also sometimes in Coco, how do I call a certain method on an object A from an object B? So basically how do I get two objects to talk to each other? And also, how do I get to exchange data between two unrelated objects? Now, for experienced developers, this sounds like a simple problem. And the solution is obvious, right? But it's never that simple. So, um, of course, you need references. Somewhere you need to store in a property or IVAR a reference to object A, so object B can access it, or vice versa. And there are many ways um, to do that. And the problem is, it's not that easy in a system that uses a hierarchy like um, in Cocos 2D, the node graph. In Cocos 2D, the scene graph may be very deep and complex. And sometime during development, you figure out that an object on level 7 in this part of the graph needs to access another object in level 4 in this other part of the graph. So how do you get those very unrelated objects to talk to each other? This complicates the problem. And in Cocos 2D, the obvious solution is to get the scenes or the topmost layer to hold the references to um, the objects that need to talk to each other. So basically, um, you make the scene or layer a global object so that uh, the child nodes can access them. Um, or find any other way to um, get a reference to the scene or layer and then add the properties to the scene or layer um, holding the references. Now, this of course adds a lot of dumb and repetitive code. Basically, your scene has properties for various objects um, to be get and set, um, just so that the objects can talk to each other. And of course, developers are very, very creative and they create very awkward solutions. Um, Probably the most common among beginners is uh, the singleton approach. Um, you have a global singleton object that holds references to all objects. And what commences is um, lots of retained cycles, lots of memory leaks, because those objects are not freed when the scene changes. So the Cobalt Touch solution is uh, to make this really, really simple. You register a controller, which is um, the equivalent of a node in Cocos 2D. You register a controller with a name on the scene view controller. And every controller has a reference to the scene view controller. It's self.sceneViewController. And of course, you can get the registered controller by its name or by its class. Now let's look at some examples. So all you need to do is to call the registered controller method on the self.sceneViewController and pass in your controller that you want to register. In this case, it's label VC. VC is short for view controller. And you give it a name, which is equivalent to uh, a key in uh, NS dictionary implementations. Um, in this case, it's I name it hello label. Now you can get this controller back by name. Um, in any other controller in Cobalt Touch, you again use the self.senior controller and send it the registered controller by name method. You pass in the name and you get the um, view controller back with that name. And then you can cast the label or the um, returned controller, you cast it. So you can, in this case, a set a text to the label view controller. You can also get the controller by its class. This is especially helpful um, if the controller doesn't register itself and you know there's only one instance of that controller existing, for example, like a physics controller or something. And um, in this case, you need, of course, uh, the class of the controller. And um, the process is pretty much the same. You get the registered controller, but this time by class, pass in the class, and you get the controller back out. And then you can use the controller to change properties on the controller, etc., or call methods. The, the biggest benefit of that is that you get no retained cycles. If you follow this, the registered controllers are automatically cleaned up when the scene changes. So there's no worry that you keep on holding to references. Of course, if you add a IVAR or property to your own class, 
you should ensure that it's um, set to weak because if you hold a strong reference, of course, you can still have retained cycles. But if you stick to the convention um, of sharing controllers with um, this register system, and um, if you want to cache controller references in your own class, make sure they are weak references, and you get you have you don't have to worry about retained cycles in this part of your code. And of course, you don't have to make changes to the class interfaces. You don't have to add properties or IVARs or synthesize uh, them in any other class. You just register them by name and get them back out by name. It's like um, using a dictionary to exchange uh, controller references. So, pretty simple and insanely great. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you like this feature of Cobalt Touch, and if you do, Check out www.cobaltouch.com and see what it can do for you.